Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on the Vermabag Max. It's been 22 days since my last update, and I have not added any food, water, or anything to the bag itself since our last feeding. And it's probably going to need some water, and I also have food ready to go just in case, along with some more bedding material. So let's take a look and see how it's doing. All right, here it is, the Vermabag Max. Let's just undo these zippers right here take a look and see how it's doing. So overall, the top looks a little dry, not surprised at all. This is cocoa choir on the top here. A couple of fruit flies in here. Nothing major though, it looks like. Up oh, this box, the bottom is completely worn out and actually there's a worm right here, look at that. They're starting to come up through the material here and this looks some of this material down here looked a little bit damp when I first pulled it up. So that's a good sign. This center has definitely sunk in. Um, let's just see here. This is very, very dry up here. Down here, this looks like really nice material. And it looks like the place that would be inhabited by worms here. Let's just dig this up a little bit. There's still some fruit flies in here. We'll get rid of those later. Looks like really nice, rich material. Just kind of dig in here, see if uh, we have, uh, we still have some paper in here that's uh, kind of folded up to these other boxes that I've had. But it looks like the worms are doing pretty well. So we got a bunch of worms right here. Let me just see if I can get those a little bit in focus for you. So we got some worms here. This is, remember, these are the red wigglers, unlike my other bins, right? The other uh, European night crawlers I have in my other bag. It does look a little bit dry in here compared to what I would normally like to see. And because of that, the worms are probably going to be a little bit smaller too because they're dry. But overall, this is not looking that bad at all. Uh, I was a little bit worried. Um, here's one of these bones. It's been thoroughly picked through. I'm going to take this out now. I don't think I, I don't think that's going to go through there anymore. Um, let's just dig around this edge here. Nice looking material. Good flaky consistency. This might be ready for a harvest pretty soon since the center sunk down again. But I think what I need to do is I really need to mix this up a little bit on the top and get some of this other cardboard and stuff to break down. So let's just go over here real quick. Move this to the side. Let's dig along this edge. So if you can't tell, this is all really dried out material. It's one of the things about this bag is that this does dry out quite a bit, especially if you don't have plastic on top. So as we move into the summer months, this actually will this bag will start doing better and better in my basement. But during the winter, it dries out like this. So I don't think we need any more bedding material in here, even though I had some ready to go. I think what we're going to do is we are going to kind of mix this up and try to get all of this to be consumed on the top here. We've got a lot of material in here. I mean, you can just tell there's a lot of dry material. So what we're going to do. We're going to mix this up. Let's just see here. As you can tell here, a lot of material. Nice healthy material though here. It looks like it's been worked through a little bit. We're going to sprinkle some powder on here in just a minute. But first off, let's just, I'm going to bury some of these uh, boxes down here in the bottom. I think that these are starting to get more in the way than they are really helping by being on the top. So we're going to kind of bury these in here a little bit. We're going to soak this down. Actually, you know what I forgot to do? We need more food in here. There's there's no food that looked like in the center here when I was digging. Let's just do a little bit more, actually. Let me think about this. So, that's all right. That was just a reflector that I had for lighting. It looks like there's a corn cob left in here. So, another corn cob. It has worms in this one. So, that corn cob was doing pretty well. Nothing else in here. I'm not seeing any other food, so we definitely need some food in here. So what I'm going to do, break this corn cob apart a little bit more here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Cardboard's not in the way. I think we're going to add, this actually the center section looks a little bit, a little bit dried out, which is perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to add in a bunch of food here. So I'm going to dump in a lot of food. So I have, as usual, one of my little containers here of frozen food. I'm not seeing any worms on the surface here, so I'm just going to dump this in. This is a variety of things that have gone bad or used, such as banana peels, which, as you guys know, I'm going through a lot of banana peels in my house. Uh, these are partially frozen. These are still 
pliable, they're not fully frozen. Some celery, some strawberries, and uh, another piece, big one of the uh, end pieces of celery. So that might take a little while to, to break down. Now, with that, one of the things I've been getting much better at doing is adding some crushed eggshell or grit. So when doing this though, I, I do put on a mask and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna put a mask on. So I might be a, a little bit muffled. And I highly recommend you, you do the same when you're, when you're working with this stuff, you put a mask on. All right, now I'm gonna add some of this crushed eggshell and crab shell. Nice and slow. I'm gonna add this on top of the food. Now, I'm adding quite a bit because grit I found has been really helpful in getting this stuff to break down faster, at least in my experience. So there's still a lot of dust in the air right now. I'm not gonna breathe it in. I'm gonna keep my mask on. And I've got some water here. I'm just gonna kind of wet this down a little bit. Get the grit to work its way into, the, into all the little pieces there. All right, now, I think that's good. What I need to do, I'm gonna, by the way, this entire time I'm gonna keep my mask on until I kind of cover this all up and I just notice that it settles down. I'm gonna cover this up and try to get the worms to start working this material on the top. Oh, hold on. You don't want to have fo food poking up if you're having issues with uh, with fruit flies, and I have them in my house, so I might have had some land in here now. Sorry, just bumped the light there. Straighten that out. All right. So that looks like you have a good solid base to right there. Let me get that in there too. Now we're going to spray this down with water and saturate the surface here and try to get these worms to start working their way up a little bit more and that way we can do a harvest from the bottom. So I'm just going to wet the sides here a little bit. I'm primarily going to stay where the food is and not go all around the, the, the bag here. I don't need to soak every single section of the bag. I really just need them to work into this food area and that's where I'm going to concentrate on the water. Now remember, I have a link down in the description if you're looking to purchase one of these systems. And I really do like the, the Vermabag systems, and they also have some new mesh lids that actually are partially covered and you can even open up, which is a phenomenal thing, especially if you're in an area like me where the weather can change and it can be 100% humidity or 0% humidity. So when you have stuff like that, it's really convenient to be able to close the bin up or open it up depending on what you need. For me, like during the winter, I really need it closed up to keep the heat in and the moisture. But during the summer, I really need to open it up and let this thing air out because moisture is no problem during the summer here where I live. So, all right, I think that's good for now. Let's just mix this up a little bit more. Just check this, uh, make sure that this kind of went down a little bit. Uh, it's still just dry on top early. Might need a little bit more water later, but there's other ways you could do that too. One of the other things you can do with these, and this is where I usually throw these, these on top, is to try to trap some of that moisture in. It's going to hit that cardboard and go down. And we'll just kind of put this back on top for now to seal that in. So that's my update for this, this bag this week. I'm going to seal this back up. Hopefully we didn't get too many fruit flies in there. I did see a few flying around. A couple came out, but I think it was more from the rest of my, uh, my basement area where all these bins are. So we're going to close this up. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. And also, I'm very curious, I didn't mention this, but I'm, this is a different camera angle that I'm trying, and I'm curious what you think. It's on the other side of me, so I don't interfere with the camera as I'm filming. And it looks like this dust has settled, so I'm going to take off my mask here. But uh, let me know what you think about this angle of coming towards me instead of over my shoulder. So I'm curious what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section, and thank you for watching.